And as I turned around to leave the room, um, he had pushed me back in uh, and just proceeded to become sexual. Multiple people reached out to WTOL 11 after those allegations surfaced, including a woman who says Chesser sexually abused her years ago and a neighbor who insists she reported Chesser to Lucas County Children's Services. We've agreed to protect the neighbor's identity due to the seriousness of the allegations. Well, that's a lot, Mr. Chesser. I said, oh, I'm well aware. Don't this is WTOL 11 video from back in May when we interviewed Jeremy Chesser and his wife, Tisha, about fostering children, not knowing he was allegedly assaulting some of the kids in his care and soliciting children on an app. But one person says she did know Chesser just wasn't right. I just knew something was wrong. I just knew that it was him. This is his neighbor who told us she saw something odd about six months ago and reported it to authorities. An interaction between Chesser and one of the teenage girls when they were outside. They were kind of horsing around with each other and then all of a sudden out of the blue he just patted her on the behind and kind of grabbed it, you know, and then just leaned over and kissed her on the lips. I thought that was very inappropriate and that's what made me call Children's Services. She says the kids remained in the home and she never heard back from Children's Services. But she wasn't shocked when the FBI showed up to search his home Wednesday. You, you saw the FBI there? Yes, I saw him search his vehicle. That was another thing I wanted to tell you. I saw him search his vehicle, search her vehicle, and then, you know, they were there till at least 4.30 in the morning. I seen him go in and take photos because the flash was going on. Another woman contacted us to say problems with Chesser um, started well before that. It needs to be brought to light because I think had that have been on his background 23 years ago, it would have prevented possibly foster children being in his placement. She says she was around 14 in the youth group here at what used to be Bethel Baptist Church. Jeremy Chesser was several years older. She says one night while closing up the church, he attacked her. And as I turned around to leave the room, um, he had pushed me back in uh, and just proceeded to become sexual, um, very forceful. Um, and despite saying no and asking for it to stop, he got more angry and just kept going. The woman tells us the sexual abuse continued. She didn't report it until a year later, but the authorities were never notified. According to her, it was because of Chesser's family's influence at the church. And so hearing such an accusation at that time, I, I just became the girl screaming sexual assault and you know, I became the issue and not so much him. Seeing what he's been accused of all these years later brings haunting memories of what happened to her. It just feels like in this situation, I don't want to say the system failed because they weren't aware of it, but religion failed. We asked Children's Services about that call from the neighbor about six months ago. A spokesperson told us the agency doesn't have that record and declined to comment on whether the agency also reached out to her today, as she told us. Jeff? Yeah.